action potentials. Uh, to explain an action potential, we must first realize that uh, at resting uh, potential, the concentration of sodium ions is greater outside the axon than inside the axon. The greater the concentration of potassium ions is greater inside the axon than outside the axon. Uh, when a stimulus causes a uh, sodium channel in the axon to open, then sodium ions move through that channel into the axon. If the amount of sodium ions that move through causes a critical voltage to form within the axon, uh, then voltage-gated sodium channels on the axon then open and more sodium ions move into the axon until it reaches a critical voltage of about 40 millivolts. At that point, the voltage-gated sodium uh, channels close uh, and the uh, voltage-gated potassium channels open, allowing potassium to move out of the axon. Uh, where while this happens, the action potential is propagated further along the axon by the diffusion of sodium ions from that area of high concentration, concentration on site 1 to the area of low concentration on site 2. When a critical mass of sodium ions has moved from site 1 to site 2, it will reach uh, the threshold voltage again, and these uh, voltage-gated sodium channels at site 2 will open, allowing an influx of sodium ions and repeating the whole process. Uh, meanwhile, back at site 1, the potassium ions are are moving back in and the sodium ions are moving back out, restoring that area to its uh, resting membrane potential.